Good morning, happy Saturday. I thought I'd do, it's been a while. I think I'm gonna film where I've been, so if I have, it's already up. So check that out. Um, but I thought I'd do a weekend vlog, so let's get started. It is like, what time is it? 9.22. I have been sick, so I sound a little stuffy. And I woke up at six, and then had coffee, fell back asleep. Probably around like eight to nine-ish, probably. So that actually felt really good. So I just got up, I put on my workout stuff. My mom's gonna be here in about 30 minutes because we are going to go on a walk with the dog who's underneath those shenanigans. But I'm gonna make my bed, clean up a little, and then, yeah, so I'll be ready when she gets here, so. Let's do this. I've literally been the worst vlogger today. So what turned into like a just walk and had to finish some shopping, some lunch, and all this stuff with my mom. And I left my battery charging because it, all my chargers were, my batteries were dead because I hadn't been using the camera. So, sorry, but I thought I'd show you. Um, I had some returns to make like at Old Navy and at Nordstrom's and stuff like that. So I took care of those, but I also picked up at Nordstrom's. Ugh. A new Hydro Flask, bright pink, and then the straw. I use this at work, and I lost mine last week. I cannot, like, how can you lose this? I didn't go anywhere. And they're not cheap, so I know I'm gonna, like, wash it, use it, and then find it. So that's typically the way it goes. And then I went to Lush. I love Lush, guys. So I don't have a bathtub, but I have a huge amount of bath bombs. Because my mom has a bathtub, and so I can go to her house, and I just miss having a bathtub. But I picked up their shower bombs. There's four of them. And there's the blue one. I forget what I forget what they are for. Like the the sense. I think this is awakening. And there's one that's called like this one's sleepy it's like a cloud i think it's on the bottom no just a sleepy one and then there's one more there's like let's see if i can get it out an orange yeah triangle so i thought i'd try them they said they're just like a, not as good i mean they're the same concept as a bath bomb but you um literally put it in your hands under the shower and it foams up and then you use it on your body and it just creates like an aromatic like shower so that I could have used one of those when I was sick. And then I picked up from their Valentine's Day little cheeky line. I couldn't pass it up, it's so pretty. Love page. Oh, it smells so good. I think I'm going to my mom's house on the street again. Take it back and use that bomb. It's a fun for Christmas. Um, okay. I also will do. It's a little dark, huh? I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul. I went to Trader Joe's, so I'll show you what I got for this next week. Um, pretty much my vegetable of choice at lunchtime for work. I think it's easy. I like it steamed. It doesn't need anything else for me to eat. So I got two things of organic broccoli. Um, so good. I got a bunch of bananas. I actually don't like eat bananas, but I use them in my smoothies. So typically I just take them. Um, slice them in half, put them in the freezer so they're always ready. I used the last two bananas I had in my freezer this last week. I got some organic butternut squash. This is for lentil soup, which is what most of this is for. I need to try these peel away fruit leather buttons. 
and right mango it looks so good but like most people would say like oh try one i bought four like i um the lentils before my lentil soup i picked up two of the perfect bars one in dark chocolate almond and one in dark chocolate chip peanut butter these are really good and nice to have on hand garlic carrots for lunch and soup i picked up the balsamic and fig dressing to her this is really good and then i also picked up again a new item that i thought i'm gonna love so i picked up four but i should have just tried one but they're super good. I mean, I like Greek yogurt, but this is um, guava passion fruit. I love guava and I love passion fruit. So like, how can I not like it, right? It's for those, which are just good for snacks when I get home from work. Um, testing kale for lentil soup. Um, I like buying the kale and like this, not like this, but like, I don't need, I think I need two cups or so, but then I freeze the rest for and put them in smoothies. So um, yeah, a celery for lentil soup. Uh, vegetable stock for lentil soup making like a huge batch of it um i thought this looked super good what's the date by okay, tomorrow I freaking hate trader Joe's sometimes i should have looked at the date always look at the dates of the salads and stuff like this i need to eat this by tomorrow but um that's not a problem so this is organic kale chicken caesar salad it just looks so good um, I picked up another thing of olive oil, an onion, two potatoes, those are for the lentil soup, there's something dropped. I buy the brown rice that's frozen, it's so good and so easy and good to have on hand. So. And the last thing I picked up just to have in my freezer this weekend is the burrata prosciutto and arugula pizza. So basically i'll show you uh, me making the lentil soup i'll probably do that probably monday but i'll vlog that um i got so basically most of this is for dinner i'll have lentil soup for dinner yogurt is a good snack um i got the dressing because dressing always have dressing right um and then for lunches i typically just cook up chicken breast have broccoli and then um, I either have brown rice or I have sweet potatoes. So this weekend it'll be brown rice, maybe some sweet potatoes. I might do a little bit of a mixture of the two. Um, but I am one of those people, I think if you've seen me like food prep before, before I kind of eat the same things over and over again and I'm totally okay with it. Like I don't get bored because I think my work pace is so fast and like during the week with teaching and stuff like that i'm not home a lot so something quick i don't have time to be messing around like cooking and stuff like that so um yeah and then this weekend i got this salad i got pizza and i have one more home chef i had home chef last week so one more meal that i could cook i just knew i didn't want to do it tonight so i just kind of pick up a few things that i can kind of throw together if i get hungry we went out to dinner for type went out for lunch for type so good and the panay curry it was so delicious and brown rice so i'm still kind of full from that so i might just snack on yogurt or something tonight um but yeah so that's what i got i'm gonna put these away and then i think that's it for the night i'll pick it up tomorrow i don't know what i'm doing tomorrow I'll maybe head to costco which means i could go to home goods so exciting um but you know what i started watching is you i'm on the third episode has anyone else watched you um I'm not like, oh my gosh, totally into it, but I thought I'd try it. I watched a uh, blind bird, bird blind, bird box. <laughs> I did not like it. Maybe because it was like so hyped up, you guys. I thought it was dumb and it wasn't scary. It wasn't suspenseful. It was an interesting premise, but what else? So I finally like gave in. For somehow I thought it was going to be scary. It wasn't even close to being scary. I think it was suspenseful. It was an odd storyline. But anyway, so someone said to watch you, so I'm putting it on. It's a good day of like relaxation, <laughs> not like just like hanging out and having it on. So I've just been doing that. But I'm gonna put that away, watch another episode of you, and I think that's it for tonight. I think I'm gonna take a shower, like a good shower. <laughs> not that I don't take like good showers, but like during the week they're for like necessity, like get in, get out, wash hair and stuff like that. I need to shave, you guys. It's been like I don't even wanna know how long, a week or so. 
if not longer because it's winter and I wear pants. So, but I'm just like, oh Lord, when I'm putting on like vertical clothes, I'm like, mm, at least your ankles, girl. At least your ankles. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And yeah, okay. Um, so hope you had a good Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Sunday. The Costco type of day. Um, so I'm just packing up, it's about 9.30. So, Costco, one's at 10. I've gotten ready. This is like my new makeup. Every day, not every day. Here's the thing. Hi, lovey. Lola's here. Um, I don't wear makeup on the weekends, like, ever. Usually. Lola, show them your face. Hold on. You have to see the girl. Look at, look at that face. You, she loves yogurt, so she got it into my um, empty container. So she looks like that. Um, so basically, I don't wear makeup on the weekends unless I'm going somewhere. But I love makeup and I buy it and I love this new foundation that I purchased a few months back. Um, but it's perfect for like, like a no makeup kind of day. And so my um, new kind of like. I don't want to say it's like a New Year's resolution, but I want to be able to feel, I do feel great without makeup. Um, I feel great with makeup, but it just kind of like ties the look and all together, right? So that's my new thing. So I do want to uh, film that because I use this foundation that I don't hear a lot of people talking about and I could probably see why, but it's so perfect for like days when you just want to wear like no makeup, light makeup, and just kind of feel like a little bit cohesive. So all right, so we're on our way to Costco. I'm gonna go ahead and go pick up my mom. She wants to come and take Lola to my mom's house, so she can do that. I think we're gonna go to Home Goods because Home Goods is by Costco. So yeah, okay, off we go. probably here in the oven. I am doing home chef for dinner. I actually had two other meals last week. There was like a spaghetti meatballs, super good, and then like a pork loin with green beans and pears. And I thought, oh, I don't know, but it was so good. And that's what I kind of find out about home chef. Like even when I'm like, eh, it's always so good. So tonight is like a chicken and um, acorn squash. So I already cut the acorn squash. Um, and that's going to even, that's going to kind of take the longest as far as 20 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and chop up some of the other ingredients. This was saying that this was probably one, um, this is what it looks like. That it was expert level. You guys, even like their expert level is really simple. I think the hardest part was cutting the um, acorn squash. Probably because if you don't have a really sharp knife, it can be kind of difficult, almost like spaghetti squash. Um, but... I don't have any problem. They're a pretty sharp knife, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the rest for the sauce and the acorn squash.
this is the only dishes that I have you guys cutting board knife like that's it two pans the chicken is resting right here on a paper plate that's for tomorrow if you're wondering and then the ear corn squash is still roasting in the toaster oven it's on a piece of foil so that just gets thrown away so as you can see I love that the home chef is such an easy cleanup and I didn't find that difficult. It was pretty simple, easy, and quick. And yeah, I can't wait to try it. Oh, hey. Oh, that's been taping for a long time. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, so. Here's the meal. Don't, don't judge, it's a paper plate. This teacher does not feel like doing too many dishes. Pause that this week. So we mix the acorn squash with feta and the walnuts and then that milk sauce with the garlic and the rosemary on top of the chicken so let's check it out take a bite of the chicken with the sauce mm. Mm. Okay. that sauce and I was like has no flavor but the rosemary and the garlic is so good because that seasoning that was put on the chicken that they gave you is salty so it's a nice balance so that's a bit surprising now on to this acorn squash take a little mm. hot mm. that's pretty good I feel like it almost needs like a sauce but the feta does get a little bit creamy because the squash is warm. You know, like the nuttiness of the the walnuts. So overall, I think it was good. Um, yeah, I'm always kind of a little bit surprised. I'm always like, oh, I don't kind of like it. But I do. So that is it. I'm going to enjoy this and then we just like take a shower and relax for the rest of the evening. If you guys are interested in a home chef, you guys, I pay for these. I mean, don't get them every week. Um, I'm just kind of what I want something a little bit different in my repertoire of dinners um but if you're interested and you want a discount on your first box i'll leave the link down below it's really good you guys i would recommend it i did a um a series where i did three um subscription boxes for food and home chef was my favorite and it's one of the only ones that i've gotten numerous times so i highly recommend checking it out and because it's a three day weekend, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, so I got up early this morning and had coffee. I took Lola back to my mom's house and um, it's productive Sunday. I mean Monday, but basically what I would do on Sunday, I've been doing today Monday since it is a holiday. Um, so I'm making lentil soup, I'm super excited. So. Um, I just chopped. I really like chopping. If you don't like chopping, this is probably not the um, recipe for you. But we have two cups of celery, two cups of butternut squash, two cups of um, carrots, two cups of potatoes, and an entire onion, and five cloves of garlic. So I'm going to throw that into the crock pot. Okay, so I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So this is kind of a funky angle, but then you can kind of see. So I just added one three-fourths cups of lentils, one teaspoon of, of salt, uh, two teaspoons of herbs de Provence. I'm using vegetable broth, you can use chicken broth. I'm just gonna add about eight cups, that's about two of these, so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on um, high for five to six hours, and then I'll show you um, what that looks like and what we do next. We've got to turn out of batteries, so um, yeah, I'll see you when this is I'm gonna put this on did I say high for five to six hours okay you guys I'm finishing up the soup I'm not gonna show you my on show me on camera right now I just got out of the shower so here's what it looks like it's about it took about four and a half hours um, so this is it I took about four cups out and that's what I really like about this recipe and with a half a cup of olive oil, I blended it, and it's gonna give this lentil soup a really good texture. Okay, so let's put 
this back in. I'm so excited. It's really going to thicken it. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to make it nice and thick. And creamer. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let this go. And I'm going to add a half a cup of... Um, what do you call it parsley and two cups of kale and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done okay you guys this is the finished product this was actually about four cups of kale look how nice and thick that is and about a, a cup of parsley and a splash of red wine vinegar it's so good and so hearty I can't wait to have this for dinner um and then um yeah I think I'm gonna sign off for the weekend um yeah, I hope you enjoyed following me around for this weekend vlog um not too much going on, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.